So here we have Tito. I'm going to be showing you just a little bit about Tito's personality and how he is doing with all of his training. So Tito here is very loving. He's a big cuddle bug and would much rather enjoy some belly scratches or be a lap dog than anything else. We go to a lot of our local schools here, local middle schools, local high schools, local elementary schools, and stuff like that. And he really enjoys himself and always has a good time getting extra snuggles while he's there. Huh. Yes, he enjoys going to all of our local school or local store trips as well. He always has a good time um, on those and loves to explore. And he's very curious and outgoing, so he loves to smell those environments and just suck it all in. He's doing very well with his desensitizing. Huh. And overall, just having a really good time here at Lewis Manor. He's been very well in his training and throughout our training program. Huh. He's been doing very well. Good boy, Tito. Good boy. So here we have Tito again. I'm gonna be showing you Tito's place command today. So I'm not having him go on it quite yet. No, you don't need to be on that yet. But I'm gonna show you how he does with it. So I'm gonna send him that bedtime place. Please. Now I want him to stay on there until I give him that release word. So until I give him that release word, he has to do whatever he wants on that bed. He just can't come off that bed. So this place command is much less structured than a sit stay or a down stay. He can sit, he can lay down on that bed. He can stand up, he can play. Eventually he could have a toy or even a long term treat on that bed. But for the purpose of this command here at Lewis Manor, I'm not going to put a toy or a treat on that bed until he's further along in his training program. That way he knows how to stay content on that bed by himself without anything. So if he were to go home with you, then he would learn to accept those um, treats or toys on that bed and he would be perfectly fine. But I want him to be able to respect the bed without anything like that on it as well. So he is very good with this command. He has gone a long way since he first started. So we've been practicing it a lot. And he is to stay content on that bed, like I was saying. Whereas, like I said, they were a down stay, they have to stay in those sits or down. It's a very structured command. Whereas the place command, they can do whatever they please. So I'm gonna walk around him, reminding him place. to release him. I'm going to go up and pet him. Tell him he's been a good boy. Good boy. Okay. And then give him that release word. Good boy. Which is always okay. So I give him that treat. I'm going to let him chew that. Tell him he's been a very good boy. Good boy, Tito. So here we have Tito again. He's just playing out with his friends in the yard, having a good old time wrestling and running around with his friends on a woods walk so i just wanted to show you guys how tito is not in training and just how fun and cute and funny his personality is he has such an outgoing personality and he's so loving and sweet he's just running around wants to stick right by you he's a very good boy so i just gave him some pets and let him run around with all of his puppy friends have a good old time. So here he is again getting some extra cuddles. He wanted to come sit by me while the other puppies were running around. Just get those extra smuggles in in the sun. He loves his belly run. He loves to just hang out and cuddle with you. He's such a sweet, loving puppy. A big lap dog, but that's okay.